The Applegate River Lodge is located in beautiful Applegate, Oregon. The lodge is nestled amongst gorgeous rivers, lush vineyards, and boasts some of the Northwest's most stunning views. Owners Joanna and Richard Davis built the lodge 22 years ago. Richard actually designed the, the lodge and built it. Having that much workload of stress is just unbearable. Once this labor of love was completed, Richard decided it was time to take a break and relax. For 20 years, the couple got divorced, so Richard now lives on site in a hut next to the main lodge. My given name was Richard, but at this stage of my life, I just go by Papa. The Applegate River Lodge, it's been a way of life here for my family for about 22 years. Right now, my duties are making sure that the energy that was given to me to Stuart is here on the property at all times. And yeah, it's pop. <sighs> Let me grab my guitar. Let's see, where is my guitar? While Richard is looking for his guitar, back on Earth, his ex-wife Joanna is desperately looking for the money to keep the lodge's doors open. We could easily lose anywhere from five to fifteen thousand dollars a month just because of lack of business. What's going on? Let's see, we got any reservations coming up? What are you doing? I'm just screwing her off. I actually live in my motorhome. I rented my house out. Did you need something? No, I'm just hanging out. I don't see the Applegate River Lodge as a business. Never have, never will. All the pressure of running the lodge falls on Joanna's shoulders. She had high hopes her two sons, Duke and Dusty, would take charge of the business. I just totally fucking disagree with what you're doing. Door Should be none of your concern. There's a big window. You don't have anything to do with this goddamn restaurant. But their constant fighting has gotten in the way. My brother and I have a rocky relationship and uh, led to fist fights and all sorts of arguments. The brothers refuse to work together, so Dusty runs the restaurant and bar as a separate business. I'll, I'll grab you a menu and we can get you something else. With his girlfriend and head chef, Cammy. Way too much olive oil on them, they turn him back. While Duke and his wife, Melissa, use the hotel's lobby as a concert venue, organizing regular music nights. How's everybody feeling tonight? <laughs> Dusty's a lot more into deadlines and numbers, and I'm a lot more into feelings and ideas and concepts. A lot of people say there's too much hot smoke and too much music, too much of this and too much of that, too much fun. That's not my take on it. And if that's not enough of a headache for guests trying to sleep, Richard holds after hours jam sessions. What time is it? What? One eleven. I have had to comp some rooms here at the lodge if it was too noisy for them or they didn't think the room was clean enough. Ew! There's spider webs all over it. Ugh. Ugh. It's so gross. I've had to comp quite a few rooms. Unsurprisingly, the inn is hemorrhaging money, dragged down by a co-owner who doesn't treat the lodge as a business and two fighting sons. If I can't get this family working together, their business is doomed. This lodge is my life. It's a legacy to carry on through generations. But the family is so dysfunctional that Gordon's just going to say, you know what, I can't fix you guys. We have to save the business. We have to save our family. I think Gordon's our only hope. My first time in Oregon, beautiful countryside. I'm on my way to the Applegate River Lodge. Now, if they've got a lodge here and they're not making a fortune, they must be doing something seriously wrong. That is beautiful. My goodness me. What's that dump? And what's that smell? <laughs> Are you ready to go back to sleep, troop? Ghastly. Wow. Hello? It is huge. But it's so empty. Where's all the furniture? And where is everybody? Am I too late? Wow. Press the button for the buzz to summon a human with answers. You are kidding me. Just relax. I gotta do exactly what I'm doing. Hello? It's like this place hasn't been finished off inside. Hello? 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 Where are the guests supposed to sit? Hey, hey, 
hello. What are you doing? How, how, <laughs> I, 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 I thought you'd gone. No, I was uh, just hanging out. Uh, sorry, I didn't catch your first name. Richard. Richard. But around here, they kind of call me Pa Butt. Pa Butt. Pa Butt. Pa Butt. We're just butlings, all of us are running around here. <laughs> Do you normally run from the desk? This bell goes to my room. OK. And then when music starts coming, I turn it over. Music? The music program we're going to do tonight. Uh, so there's a music, there's a band playing tonight? Yes. And then we'll probably jam out later okay. in, in the butt hut. What, what is the butt hut? Just help me. Understand. Would you like to see the butt hut? <laughs> uh, I'd love to see the butt hut. <laughs> okay. Yeah, lovely. this is where you run the reception from the butt hut. <laughs> yeah. Wow. This is the butt hut. This is where me and Troopy hang out. <coughs> Troopy, get up. Smell. What is that smell? Uh, incense. incense. They're right here. Incense. Yes, that is a incense. strong fucking incense. <laughs> yeah. Jesus. Yeah. But that doesn't smell like the smell I've just smelled. Yeah, it's herbs. It's a medicinal herb. I love herbs, especially the freshness of them. You can use it for cooking if you want to do a really nice fettuccine. OK. Was it like uh, a basil? This is, yeah, it's like a basil. Wow. It has a nice smell to it. Fuck me. That's definitely not basil. Is this cannabis? Yes. So we smoke pot. Poof, that's what I could smell the minute I came in here. Yeah. What do you want me to do? Is this legal here? Yes. I use uh, medicinal herb. Before you put your hands back in that cookie jar, do you mind if I see my room? It's uh, get a bit late. Oh, oh. Uh, I'm not. I'm, not I'm, <laughs> I'm done for a while. Oh, OK, you're done yeah, for a while. Yeah, I'm medicated. Okay. Like, you know, so you... how do I get to the room? I'll show you. This is a first. The owner of this lodge is as high as a kite. Wow, look at this place. He probably hasn't even noticed the place has no furniture. This is the cattleman room. Cattleman room, thank you. Yeah. It smells like cattle in here. Wow. What happened to the carpet? Did the dog have an accident? You know, we party a lot here, so you're going to have liquor. Who knows what's on these carpets, right? What's that? That's just bugs. A oh, bugs? Bloody hell. Yeah. Oh, and a crispy, daddy long leg. That's disgusting. And this is your view out here. No, I didn't notice the view because of the carpet. My God, what a stunning location. It's paradise. It truly is. Yeah, I'll say. I mean, this place is stunning. Shame it's so filthy, Richard. So the bedroom's up here, right? Right. What in the hell has happened to this carpet? I haven't been up oh. there in a while. There's more stains on this carpet than inside Hugh Hefner's fucking wife rooms. Oh, yeah, I told you, they party in here. No, but Every... how? I mean, how many can... Look at this carpet. Every room's got those stains on them, you know? And what about the cover on the bed? When was that from, 1970? You have talked to Joanna about that. Joanna, that's your wife? Ex-wife. Ex oh, damn. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. She right. wants to be a business. Which she should be. Uh, it's not a business not. to me. Don't ask me finances, because I would be lying if I told you I knew anything. I don't. Let's catch up later. I'm going to unpack uh, yeah. my bags. OK, okay. cool. Uh, thanks for the update. This place is disgusting. Wow. And it's hardly surprising seeing that the owner doesn't see it as a business. I need some fresh air. Fuck. He clearly doesn't care about paying guests. Kids, don't do drugs. You'll end up like that. I've just arrived at Oregon's Applegate River Lodge. Hello. The hotel lobby has no furniture. It is so bare in here. The rooms are disgusting. It's like a basil. And I've discovered one of the owners is a carefree hippie. It's not a business to me. Richard says his ex-wife is the businesswoman here. I hope she has a better head on her shoulders. Hello. Joanna. Joanna, cool. Nice to see you. Nice to meet you. So you're Joanna, who was married to Richard. Yes. Uh, you deserve a medal. <laughs> um, and what do you do? Well, let's see. I check people in. I do the banking. Right. I mean, I'm, I'm the only one in the family that's ever, you know, taken care of the books and made sure that the mortgage payment was paid. And... Why is it all on your shoulders? You just sound like the only one who's actually in control I of this. I am the only one. Does, does I Richard have always a... been No, he's never even looked at the checkbook. I'm really tired. I'm getting tired of holding everything up, and it's getting old. Driving through here, those vineyards, the mountains, I mean, yeah. you must be making a fortune. Uh, well, you know, I'm... Well, I owe 990000 on this, and we lose from five to $15,000 a month. This is crazy. Yeah. But how can the business not be in profit? Uh, that's my... I, I don't I, know. That, I, I don't understand. No, it, that's... That's what I need you for, I honestly. Having seen the lobby and my bedroom, yeah. I can see why the hotel might be struggling. But surely the restaurant must be making money. With that view on the river like that? Well, the restaurant is run by Dusty, my younger son. OK. And then Duke and his wife run the music end of the business. OK. What percentage of the profits do you get? 
None. Bloody hell. It sounds nuts. I know it sounds nuts. I'm just crazy. Wow. I mean, look at this place. It's like a missed opportunity beyond belief. I mean, I... Know. That's what everybody tells me. Everybody says, you've got a gold mine here. And I go, well, so far I haven't found the gold. <laughs> this place is a patch of heaven. So I'm shocked to hear it's not making money. I can't wait to hear why Joanna's sons aren't contributing to the lodge's finances. Nice to see you. First name is? Thank you. Melissa. Melissa, Gordon, yeah. nice to see you too. Well, hello, Pleasure. how are you? Likewise, my pleasure. Good yeah, to see you. Duke, right? Duke, yeah. So this is set up for the concert? Yeah. I run the sound. OK, mix in. Yeah. yeah. OK, great. Yeah. And how much did you get in? It's 15 15 dollars. 15 dollars, yeah. So out of that 15 dollars charge, how much goes to mum? None. None. Well. Wow. Let's, uh, let's... let's have a quick word outside. The place has got a million dollars debt. Yeah, I know, and it's and, and and I've been sitting waiting, and I I can I can relate. I think I know what's going on here. When was the last time you had a smoke? Way earlier this after the. Twenty minutes ago. No, no, no. This morning. This morning. But definitely it, relieves stress. But it definitely okay. smells of a business that's run by stoners. <laughs> yeah, I know. Duke isn't taking any responsibility for the lodge. <laughs> Hopefully, his brother will have a better excuse for not sharing any profits with his mum. Gordon wants to meet you. Hello. Hello. Dusty. David. Dusty. Uh, lucky Dusty, by the sounds of things. Oh, yes, of course. Uh, I would say. Hello. Hi, Camelia. Uh, Camelia, nice. Uh, to the Hi. chef, right? Yes. OK, great. I'm a very hard worker. I think Gordon's going to like me. Uh, so are you making money here? Yes, sir. How much money do you make a month? Uh, last month, I made about 12,000. Wow. So you make about 150 grand a year? Uh, with everything working right, yeah. And you don't pay a dollar profit to your mother? Profit, excuse me? The business is a million dollars in debt. You make a shitload of money, and your mum gets nothing. I was shocked that Dusty makes that much, and that bothers me because he should help me out financially. Known full well that you stand to inherit this business, there's still not a penny that goes in to reducing debts, and this is your mother. Correct. I've really devoted my life to this place, and to be treated like I don't care about my family and don't care about this business, it really cut to the core. And I have no problem telling him to get the fuck out of here. I'd give you a kick up the ass if that was my son. I don't understand why the boys are just in it for themselves. Why can't the business work as one and everybody pull together? Well, you haven't done a damn thing around here. I work hard here, and I don't see you do fucking thing. Because you can't take any criticism without wanting to punch my fucking lights out. Incredible. Guys, How do you feel about this? Shut the fuck up, both of it's you. It's him. He hates me. Listen. listen what listen. would you like me to do? What would I want to see you grow up and turn into a real man. I want to see you. Oh, like have, you're a fucking real I wanna man. I want to see you be able to go and what, call, what have a big show. Oh, my God. No wonder this place is on its knees. Fuck you. I'm at Oregon's Applegate Lodge. And I thought the answer for saving this place was for everyone to work together. You can't take any criticism without wanting to punch my fucking lights out. But the boys can't even talk to each other. <sighs> this guy tells me he Listen won't even be me. my fucking brother. Unless I it's clearly not just the lodge that's falling apart. Fuck you. My god. People have heard about my visit, and both the hotel and restaurant are booked for the night. And right this way, guys. I feel sorry for all of them. Hi there. Come on over here. I'll check you in. How are you folks doing tonight? Okay. And I'm sorry about the furniture in the lobby. They haven't got any. <laughs> Please take a seat on the stairs. The guests don't look impressed with the hotel, and neither do the customers in the restaurant. But at least they've got furniture to sit on. Bruschetta here, guys. Oh, shit. That's right. Bruschetta here for you guys. Oh, man. OK, fire up. You got your tri-tip. I'm not looking forward to going to the dinner service with Gordon. Um, the interaction I had with him beforehand, I just know it's going to be a nightmare. Are we OK with that? The soup was pretty cold and I didn't have any salt. And then it's, it's, no, it's, it's just water and potatoes. My apologies. Potatoes here. That is firing off, guys. And we got cream torch radish coming right out, guys. The uh, dog at the table, is that normal like that? The dog, does he sit there like that in front of customers? Yes, sir. Some request him to stay. Some call him over. Yes. Some customers call the dog over? Oh, yes, of course. The food's that bad. While I'm trying to figure out what's wrong in the restaurant, guests in the hotel are enjoying the unique charm of the Applegate Lodge. 
Goober like of it. some kind here. <laughs> you don't look at this. You got your dry cleaner hangers? I just don't know about the bear, though. I mean, that's kind of... Oh, my gosh. Where's the TV? I hope the restaurant's better than the rooms. Kim, I need that Thousand Island that goes with this one here. Um, we got ketchup. OK, we're adding ketchup to a ranch, and that would be a, a thousand right here. Okay. Okay. What was, was that ketchup in the salad? Yeah. What for? For the Thousand Island. Fucking hell. I can't believe this restaurant is making money. The guests must be coming for the view, because the food is dreadful. This says grilled salmon with pepper, but it tastes like you literally just sprinkled it with sugar. The salmon is frozen. I'll, I'll be more than happy to. I'll just take that off your now. Is it? Certainly. I can't stand to watch another minute of this. Thank goodness dinner service is almost over, because this place is a joke. Oh, dear. Got two minutes? I'm embarrassed. I'm amazed you're still open. There's no fucking standards in here. I don't believe that there's no standards. You've got a river running outside your patio with salmon in it, and you're serving frozen salmon. Where's the standard, then? What we do here is not shit. You may be able to manipulate your mother, but you are not going to pull the wool over my eyes. Because you're playing at running a restaurant that's been given to you. You haven't actually worked for this, have you? You grew up here, so, hey, Mum, I want to be a restaurateur this week. Without your mother in this lodge, you're fucked. It's nearly 10 o'clock, when many hotel guests will be thinking of heading to bed. But the music concert is just about to start. We've been doing this for 20 years, we've been playing music. I think Gordon's gonna like it. do drugs, so I never thought I'd see a dancing mushroom, but I was wrong. <laughs> I recognize the smell. <laughs> it's like the summer of love. These people are weird, but they sure are friendly. Nice to see you. I love you too. Is this a dream? Is this really happening? So are you checking in? I'm so sorry. Welcome to the fucking madhouse. Your room is uh, up these log stairs right behind you here. It's insane how guests are trying to check in over this racket. If I had arrived to this, I would have gotten on the first plane back home. I don't think I'll be able to relax here. I can't really escape the sound. Wow. And the longer the music goes on, the more guests complain. I can't hear anything. You guys want to come back here? You know what? It's on me tonight, OK? We're going to make you happy no matter what. OK? okay? All, right. All right. With Joanna giving away okay. rooms for free, the lodge is losing money, pushing this hotel further into debt. Hey, thank you guys so much for being a part of this. How about it one more time for Polyrhythmics? It's way past midnight. And with the band finally wrapping up, it's time for me to get some sleep. Before I dive under those covers, I'm dying to see what's on top of them. That is disgusting. I am not putting my head on that pillow. Ah, oh, I just touched that. It's like a mosaic of semen. Look at that. Oh, disgusting. Oh, look at the lampshade. Look at that. How can they charge money for people to sleep in this filth? Wow. This is definitely a night for my sleeping bag. Right, lights out. Oh, come on. It's like trying to sleep above a nightclub. Oh, shit. Holy fuck. I'm going to jump out the window. This is crazy. Oh, for God's sake. Hey, Gordon. 
It's my first night at Oregon's Applegate Lodge, and there's no way I can sleep over this dreadful noise. I've had enough. <laughs> Trying to get the sleep up there. You got two seconds? Yeah. Joe, thank you. This is insane. Oh my god. Thank you. Um, how on earth is anyone supposed to sleep with that racket? <laughs> can, can you get the family together? Yeah. Yeah. And can we just have a a, a meeting together? Yeah. Holy shit. Uh, I don't know what to say. I'm, I'm I'm struggling. I've never seen anything quite as shoddy as I've experienced today, and I I I'm, I'm wondering why this place is still open. How much money did we make tonight? How much money did you make? About 1,500 bucks. 1,500. How much money did you make tonight? Uh, a couple hundred. A couple of hundred. About 500. But with all the noise complaints, Joanna had to comp three rooms. Isn't that right? Absolutely. You two make a profit, but your mother loses money. It does not make sense. Nobody says we were sensible people. Oh, we're just blessed people. Having a million dollars in debt is not blessed. First of all, you don't mm -hmm. understand what you're talking about. You're talking business. Mm -hmm. You're a where's, businessman. Where, where's the business? I'm, I'm not a businessman, and I don't try to teach you people to be business people. It's, this is our home. No one knows the difference between a hotel and a home. And does anyone else know how much stress and pressure you're under? Um, you know, I do what I have to do to, to keep the doors open, you know? Can we just quit talking about money? Richard, why can't it be financially secure so that both we of your kids... We are financially no, secure. No, Richard, we are not. Well, you can laugh at this and laugh at that, and we just want to make everybody happy, man. Listen, it ain't an issue with me. You're refusing to look at the issue because you and your sons are taking advantage of Joanna. No, it's not an issue. So why are you talking so I'm, much bullshit? It's not bullshit. It's yes, straight it up. Is. It's yeah. Everything you say to me, I'm just ignore. I'm going to knock him on his ass. But you, you think, think I else? care what you think about me? Richard. Why don't you go have your yeah. cigarette? I'll go have my cigarette, yeah. relax a little bit, yeah. and we'll come back and then discuss this. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm not going to argue with your father. I'm just going to call it as I see it. This lodge needs to be run by a business. And when I listen to your mum stressing out about payments and you two going off running your own little businesses because you two are button heads, it's a fucking disgrace. This shit has to stop. Because right now, this lady's suffering. Yet your heads are so far in the fucking sand that no one can actually see the damage you're causing. My worst nightmare is that Duke and Dusty never can get on the right page, and, and I'm stuck till I'm 90 years old trying to run this place, and then I die, and it's gone. I'm not a miracle worker. If you want this place to survive, you need to come together as a family and run this place as a proper family business. It is way past everybody's bedtime. I'll see you in the morning. Good night. <sighs> this place is insane. I mean, I've never seen such a badly run lodge in all my life, and the one person I feel sorry for is Joanna. Everybody else, they think it's a big joke. Well, I'll tell you what. I'm not fucking laughing. Oh, With all the partying going on at this lodge, I hardly got a wink of sleep. I don't want to stand on that carpet. This lodge is in a dreadful state, and I think everyone's blind to it. That has to change. Come on in. You okay, my darling? Yeah. Uh, there's something I want you to understand because I think you're the only one who can actually appreciate yep. some things uh, that's been going on here. Yeah? Yeah. Will you come up with me? What he might be showing me next, uh, I don't know how much <laughs> worse it could get. Hello, everybody. Uh, thank you so much for coming. This is Joanna. She is the owner. Um, these are esteemed guests that have been staying in your lodge. I need to hear the truth, and so does Joanna. Let's start off with you, madam, please. Um, me and my boyfriend stayed here a few days ago. Both of us weren't really pleased. We were all the way in the Myrtle Suite, so we were the closest to the bar, and we could hear it like we were next to it. Uh, my apologies. Uh, I'm sorry. Please, madam, sir. We got the honeymoon suite, and the bathroom wasn't clean, so we, you know, I cleaned it, and it just kind of grossed us out. The fact you had to clean the room before you tried to relax, it's insane. <sighs> madam, please. 
We got into bed and felt something. I pulled it up with my foot, and it was a pair of underwear, dirty underwear. Oh, my God. As she... I am mortified. That is completely unacceptable. Did you have any interactions with Richard? Richard invited us to the back room. What, in the, like, the butt hut? Yes. To do what? There was Can marijuana in the back. He offered, which we did not partake. Taking guests into the butt room and offering them it's marijuana. It. It's not a hippie commune, it's a, it's a lodge. I know. I thank you for your time. The guest feedback has hit Joanna hard, and now she's asked to speak to me alone. Come on in. You okay, my darling? Oh, I wanted to show you this book. It's the building of the lodge and kind of see what we went through. Oh, wow. The from the beginning? From the beginning, yeah. Wow. We built it with our hands. We felled the trees, we hand peeled the poles, we, we did it all. And it's, it's an amazing story how we pulled this together. I think if you understand the struggle that we went through to get it to this place, you understand why I'm so fired up about yeah. keeping it and, and having it run. Wow. Top notch. And this is, this is sort of ground zero, this is where yep, it all started. Yep, it's ground zero, yeah. That's, that's the butt hood, actually. Seriously, yeah. that's incredible. And the kids, you know, they were all here. We grew up here, they're, they're, they're attached to it. It means so much to them. Now, I understand. I mean, it's clearly your, your little paradise, but I don't think it's been paradise for guests. But that's all going to change. Yep. Wow, look at that. <laughs> and they lived happily ever after. That was my dream, and I think that could still happen. It is going to happen, please. <laughs> Let's go and do this. Okay. okay. You back. I'll see you shortly. Okay. Thank you for that. Sure. Now I can see why Joanna loves this lodge so much. And I know that to save this place, I need to get her sons talking again. Clearly their dad's not going to make that happen. <laughs> He's too busy doing nothing. Come in a minute. So I've got to find a way to get these brothers on the same page. So can you guys get this thing settled once and for all? I can't talk to him, though, and have him not want to punch me. OK? I've been being bullied my whole life, Gordon. What are you talking about? You, you, you really think that you haven't done anything? No, no, to what, what have I said? Tell me, tell me what I've done. Tell me what and I've I... said to you that hurts you so bad, because you've said so many things to me. You've resented me. You've told me I'm a punk. You said I'm a white trash tweaker. You're living like one. I'm ashamed that you're my brother. That's a serious statement. Shit. Come on. This is horrifying. You know, go ahead, just leave. No. Get the fuck off this property. Did you guys get along ever? Was there ever a time? Shit. This is horrifying. No, go ahead. Just leave. No. Did you guys get along ever? Get the fuck off this Was property. Was there ever a time? When is somebody going to say, fuck it, this isn't about my big brother, my little brother. This is about my mum. The hatred has to stop. I agree. The hatred has to stop. Yeah. If we don't figure this out, we're going to lose the lodge. I don't want that at all. I, Dusty, why have we let this go on for so long? And I love you, and I, and I don't want to see you hurt ever. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's been such a long road with Duke that, you know, I've just been, been praying every day for something to change because it, it taxes my mother so much. I am so relieved to hear that from both of you. You OK? Yeah. Now that Duke and Dusty have seen the pain they've caused their mother, I believe they're going to be willing to put their issues aside to save this piece of paradise. This lodge has so much potential in this beautiful setting. It's somewhere I'd love to bring my wife and four kids for a vacation. It would be a tragedy if Joanna and her family lost it. <sighs> what an absolutely beautiful place to go for a swim. But there's still one problem I need to tackle to make sure this lodge has a future it deserves. It's time to talk business. Take a seat. Um, Richard, there's a business meeting. OK. You're not really involved running the business. Right. right. OK. And I think you need to let these guys deal with the business. Yeah. So I would ask you to disappear. Okay. You're a nice guy. Yeah. You're not going to change. And do you know what? I don't think your family want you to change. Uh, no, they love you. 
Yeah. As you are. Yes. OK, so I want you to have a, a relaxed afternoon. Cool. Thank you. That's why you're here. Well, I appreciate I've it. I've been talking years. You take care. <laughs> OK. Yeah. Uh, OK, see you, Dad. Thank you. Yeah. Richard. Right now, it's not your time, young man, and it's not your time. Do you know whose time it is? That's right. That's right. And she's at the helm. But she can't do it without you. That's right. All the personal shit, you leave when you walk through that door because it's about business now. Yeah, we've never had that. You have the possibility of turning this around. Joanna, what have you got to say? I just really need you guys both. You know, I tried for many years to do this on my own. But you know what? It's time maybe you guys help out a little more. Let's get this thing going, man. Let's roll. You realize how freaking lucky we are to have this place? Boys, are both of you committed to working together and getting this place turned around? Yeah. No am in it if you're in it. Absolutely, man. As, as businessmen and then brothers. Yep. Once we figure this out, we'll work the other shit out. But we gotta be here for mom, okay? <laughs> okay. All right. Love you. And... It just warms my heart to watch the boys embrace and, and to, to see that they really want to, to work together and to help grow this place again. It feels like a weight's been lifted off my shoulders right now. And, and now that we're actually on some sort of a, a page together, I think we can, we can really start going somewhere with it. I am just, like, stoked. <laughs> These are tears of joy, not sorrow. Thank God. There's a lot more changes coming tomorrow. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you. I thought Gordon was coming here to fix the, the lodge, but he ended up fixing our family, which is amazing. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you later. OK. You. Welcome to the new Applegate River Lodge. From this day forward, we will run this as one business. Yes, there's a restaurant. Yes, it's a music venue. But they are all part of the lodge business and they contribute to the overall lodge finances. Understood? Understood. Good. I cannot wait for you to see through those doors. You ready? Yeah. Absolutely. Let's go. Whoa. Oh, my god. Oh, my gosh. Wow. God. Oh, nice. <laughs> wow. Holy smokes. Wow. Woo. This looks like a lodge. Wow. <laughs> oh, my god. <laughs> When I first got here, I had to sit on the floor. Oh, so now your guests will feel warm and very welcomed. Yes, absolutely. Wow. The lobby actually feels like a lobby now. The leather couch is incredible and the rocking chairs. I mean, people can come down in the morning, have a cup of coffee, they can sit down. It's amazing. Is it gorgeous? It's beautiful, yeah. I love it. Come over to the reception desk. There's something else I want to show you. Here is the magic. Oh, yeah. I have yeah. given you a stunning brand new hotel management POS, point oh, of sale yeah. system. Wow. So now your guests can check in online. Wow. It works in here, it works in the restaurants, and it's going to tap in to your music as well. Perfect. I love it. That system is going to really change everything we do here. Gordon has just, he's synced everything up and made this one business. It's really what this place has needed for so long. Now, would you like to see my room? Yes. Absolutely. Yeah. Let's go. Here we go. Go straight through. Oh. Oh, cute. Look at this. Wonderful. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, nice. Wow. Oh, it smells so good in here, too. I love wow. it. Wow. So the room is fresh. It's vibrant. It's warm. And I've had all the carpets cleaned, so there are no more stains. Ooh. Nice. I oh. My curtains are gone. My 16-year-old oh. curtains. Oh, it's nice. Is it beautiful? Wow. Way nice. The disgusting bedware, all gone. And with the blinds, guests no longer need to stare down at Richard's butthole. Butthole. This butt hat. The cabin room looks like a really classy place now. I mean, the bed, the, the furnishings, the lamps. It's, it's not all that funky stuff I had in there for years. <laughs> oh, I love it. Stunning. One last thing I'd like to show you at the restaurant. Are you ready? Yep. Yep, let's go. We've got some exciting things happening there. Holy moly. Oh, 
Welcome to the new Applegate River Lodge menu. The menu's small, the menu's dynamic, and the better the ingredients, the less that needs doing to them. Let's start off with the top, shall we? Half a roasted chicken and a lovely sage lemon butter sauce. Next to that, the wild king salmon with citronelle and grilled lemon. And then finally, 12 ounce New York strip. Stunning. I like it. It's simple, but it's, it's yep. perfect. Now, sit down and enjoy. Oh, my God. It's steak. Oh, yum. You can just taste the freshness. It's really good. It's a night and day. I love this menu because it's us. Have we ever had dinner all together? It really hasn't happened. Yeah. <laughs> With the Davis family ready to work together and the stunning new changes to the lodge, I've got one more surprise for the family that will take this hotel to a whole new level. This one you're going to love. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. <laughs> wow. Now, this is everything you need to put on a mini music festival for your guests. Oh, wonderful. Oh, I can't believe it. <laughs> now, here's the exciting news. All of a sudden, <laughs> the lodge has four extra bedrooms. No way. Oh, no. Oh, my God. Whoa. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> yeah, that's too good. Wow. Mm -hmm. Coupled with a new outdoor grill, so the guests can enjoy nice. a phenomenal barbecue lunch while they enjoy the show. Now, the music business, the lodge, the restaurant will work together. And all the elements of the business will be making money to help pay down the debt and keep this place open for decades to come. I'm completely excited and ready to start doing music outdoors. And I think it's really going to be a great way for the lodge and the restaurant and the music to unite. Wow. Perfect. Now, Richard, you will not believe what I've done with your butt hut. You ready? Oh, come and see. God. Come and see. <laughs> I'm only joking. I haven't touched that thing ever. <laughs> I was. You don't want to go in there. <laughs> It's time for the new and improved Applegate Lodge to open to the public. Four course later, yes. While Dusty and Cammy deal with the meals, Duke and Melissa handle the entertainment. With their combined effort, much needed revenue is coming into the lodge. And with the music on the outdoor stage, the entertainment is far enough away for guests to enjoy their rooms. Quiet. Feels like we're away from everything. Now that the relaunch is a success, I've got to hit the road. Gordon. It's time for to say goodbye. It's been a slice of heaven. A little slice of heaven. <laughs> Serious? Yeah. But please do not offer any more guests some of those special herbs. Already. You built this place. Right. Now let them have it. Oh, gladly. Take care. <laughs> Take care. Okay. It's been an absolute pleasure. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, -bye. <laughs> Boys, my time is done. Look after each other. Okay. And forget the past. Work with your brother and take some weight off your mother's shoulders. Yeah? yeah. And this place is going to roll. Thank you so okay. much, Gordon. If Gordon didn't come, we'd, we'd be in the same stagnant environment with uh, no love and a lot of anger. Those boys need to know who's boss. They will. Uh, good luck. Thank you so okay. much. There's just no words that can express how grateful I feel for this awesome, amazing experience. Good night, darling. Bye-bye. Are they sad to leave this place? But I will not be sorry to see the back of Richard's butthole. But hot, but hot. <laughs> Since my visit to the Applegate River Lodge, Dusty and Duke continue to get along. And they're helping Joanna get income for the lodge to reduce their debt. If you want to get all the trash, I'll get all the dishes. Uh, OK. This family-run hotel is finally running smoothly. I feel like this is the first step to taking the lodge into a destination resort, which is what it needs to be. We should spend more time together as a family, you know? Yeah. Gordon has given us a, an opportunity of a lifetime, and we're not going to let him down. I want to thank Gordon for having the love in his heart to come here and put my family back together. That's what I want. Love you. Love you, too.